Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm coming back today with a very home related video. This is probably one of my most requested videos all the time and it's my Amazon haul. I absolutely love Amazon, I mean who doesn't? There are some really good gems on there. Kind of collated a few things that I have purchased recently over the last month or so. Some of the things are very random but I feel like they're just so great to know. So I will link everything below and without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, I'm gonna get the most random things out the way at the beginning because I don't know if it's really gonna relate to many of you. But first of all, I really want to share these drawer knobs. So if you are looking to upscale some furniture that you've already got, or you're doing a bit of a DIY project, maybe you've got some drawers and you just want to give it a facelift. Oh my God, I absolutely love these. And they were so affordable. They are kind of like a brushed, a brushed yellow gold, really, really gorgeous really small little circular drawer knobs and I absolutely love them. They're really easy to put in as well. It comes with the screw and you literally just put it either side of the drawer and screw in the screw. So easy. And yeah, I love these. I think they're so nice. And we have been um, doing a little project with our Ikea drawers and they honestly look amazing. And I actually changed some drawer knobs in the bedroom to these ones and they look gorgeous, like immediately upgraded the furniture. Another random thing that may not relate to some of you is this. So as you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I love Pilates and I put this on my TikTok and so many people were like, what the hell is that? Um, this is a Pilates ring. So you use this for in your legs. I'll show you. You put it in between your legs like this. And then when you're doing a workout, you like squeeze it together. Um, this honestly is such a game changer for at home Pilates workouts. If you do reformer, you may be familiar with this because they do use it a lot in reformer classes. But I got my own one from Amazon. Such a game changer. I love it. It really makes my workout so much harder. That and a resistance band. And I've got a pretty intense home workout. Moving on to the kitchen. I saw this on TikTok and then we went and saw our friend for some drinks the other night and he was talking about them. And I was like, oh my God, I need this in my life. It's a dishmatic. And I don't know if I'm just really late to the party, but I've never heard of this before. And oh my goodness, this is such a game changer. So if you've never heard of this before, it's basically a scourer sponge on the end of a stick, but the stick has a hole in. So you can actually take the lid off and put in fairy liquid or whatever you want into the um, handle. And then as you are like scrubbing and you're pushing down on this, it's all coming out the sponge. This sounds like the most simple thing in the world, but oh my goodness, this has changed my life. I tend to wash up our pans and like baking trays and stuff like that by hand because I just find it so much easier than putting it all in the dishwasher. And I often find if I put things that I've been cooking with in the dishwasher, all the glasses and stuff end up getting really dirty because they, it's just taking like all the food out of the pans and it's not cleaning. So it's so much easier and less stressful to just wash them by hand, dry them and put them away. So this is absolutely amazing. I also love it for cleaning like all the sides. I just think it's amazing. So I also got some refills as well because this is literally my new obsession. Another kitchen thing. So you guys know I love organizing. I love my space to be very minimal and clean and organized. We had in our cupboard, um, we've got all of our pastas. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this already, but we've got all of our pastas, we've got all of our jars and spices and everything in one cupboard. But the spices and the jars and like the sauces and all of that stuff, was just a mess and I really didn't know what to do. But I had this idea to get baskets because the other thing with that cupboard is you can't really see to the back. So we've got two of these baskets in the cupboard. Again, Amazon, obviously. Really simple, like brown wicker baskets. And then they've got little handles on either side. It's also so much neater in the cupboard. So you open it and it's not like, whoa, tons of sauces. It's really neat. 
and it's actually so much easier to find things as well. So really recommend these baskets. They'd also be really great for just organizing anything, a pantry, a laundry cupboard, like anything like that, I think these would be great for. So my last kitchen thing is my water bottle. I get so many questions about this, so I really thought I would include it in the video. It's 500 milliliters, so it's not the biggest, and if you're somebody that wants to just get like a gallon of water and just have it all day and that's it, this probably wouldn't be great for you. But I'm not that person and I like to have a more like small slim water bottle that I can take around with me that I can just fill up a few times a day. So this is what it looks like. Really, really gorgeous. I got the color, I think it's milk this shade is called and it's really inexpensive. It's stainless steel, so you can actually put quite a few things in here. You could put soup or hot drinks like coffee or whatever. And yeah, I really love it. It also tends to keep my water really cold. Um, I put this by my bedside table at night and my water stays cold like all morning as well. So really recommend. Okay, moving on to some other home furnishing. Amazon have such a great selection of books. And as you know, I am a lover of coffee table books. So I picked up a few new ones. I really wanted to get a few more neutral colored ones. These are the ones I chose. Minimalista, your step-by-step -step guide to a better home, wardrobe, and life. I also do read these, by the way. I don't just get these to look nice. Often when Jack's watching the football or something like that, I'll have a flick through and read a few pages. And this one is actually really interesting. It's basically just about organizing things, tidying, having kind of like a system to different sections of your house. It goes into really great detail, like the kitchen, the playroom, the, the pet room, like everything. And yeah, there's some really, really good tips in here. So that's that one. Then this one is called This Is Home and it's The Art of Simple Living. This one is more of kind of like a picture book, but it does touch on different senses. It touches on composition. It's got a bit of a QA and a in there. So it's, again, some really interesting topics covered. Really useful little tips as well. I love the cover of that. I just think it's so pretty. And then I actually got this for my birthday, but I thought I would include it anyway, because it is from Amazon. And that's the Live Beautiful Athena Calderon book. I love this. I think this is my favorite book. It's just so beautiful and oh, just all the pictures. And I read this cover to cover the other night and I just absolutely love it so much. Like, oh my God. I really recommend getting this one. It also looks gorgeous as well. Okay, next up is the floor lamp. You can see it in shot and I just love it. I think it's so great. It really goes with our space really nicely. And it's kind of got like a brushed gold lamp base, really similar to the frame of the mirror, which I didn't realize at first. And I'm so pleased because it matches. Then we've got like a white linen lampshade and it's got a really heavy marble base. All comes with it. We actually put a Philips Hue bulb into the lamp, which means you can control the lamp from your phone on the app. And it's really handy because you can just like turn it on, turn it off on your phone. It's really great. Um, but it also means you can dim it. So I love this lamp because we can have it on like a really low setting in the evening. Or if we're cooking, we can turn it up. I just love it. It's really great. And it's really filled a void in this corner. Um, and I'm so pleased with it. I think it looks really nice as well. Another lamp related thing is this lampshade. So I bought a lamp from Amazon, um, like a marble onyx table lamp base, but it didn't come with a lampshade. And I wanted a just really simple, neutral linen lampshade. Um, so I ordered this one. Unfortunately, this one is way too big for the lamp base. So I've managed to switch around some of the lampshades on a different lamp and put this somewhere else, which actually looks really nice on the lamp in question. But this was so cheap. And if you are looking to upgrade a lamp, you find a vintage one that you love, but you hate the lampshade. I just, I really recommend just going onto Amazon and getting something like this because they're so inexpensive, but really great quality. It's really thick. It's got this really nice linen texture to it. And yeah, I'm just really pleased with it. It's so big as well. Really, really big in size. Okay, and last but not least, I recently got some new bedding from Bedfolk and I needed a big giant cushion. Straight to Amazon, of course. And I got this huge pillow. So obviously not the pillowcase, but the pillow itself. This is 65 by 65. And I have this like at the back of the bed and then we've got our normal sleeping pillow. And this is absolutely huge and so soft. Jack was actually like, oh, I really love having these big pillows um, in the bed. And I just, 
yeah i love it it's so good really inexpensive i think it was 20 pounds for two cushions which is so good and they have loads of sizes so if you are looking to upgrade your sofa your spare bed your bedroom anything like that at all i just recommend getting some really big cushions getting some really nice pillowcases and doing it that way you really don't need to spend a lot of money on details that you don't really see like cushion insides or lampshades or you know things like that um it's much better just to pop onto amazon and order something that's gonna be functional and useful okay so that brings me to the end of today's video this is a super quick run through of just a few things i've picked up on amazon recently um i know you guys really like these videos so i will try and keep doing them if i am ordering things on amazon i actually would really like to try some bits from the fashion range because i see it all over youtube and instagram and i'm very intrigued by it so let me know down below if you'd like me to test some Amazon fashion pieces out for summer. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.